Hi, my name is Samuel Lopez, and I'm an evangelist and speaker in Orlando, Florida. Allow me to share with you the verse of the day. It's found in Colossians chapter 3, verse 13. This is where the Apostle Paul is writing to the church at Colossae, and he's both challenging as well as encouraging them with these words. And this is what the Apostle Paul wrote. He wrote this, bearing with one another and forgiving one another if anyone has a grievance against another. Watch this. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you are also to forgive. Let's be real. One of the most difficult things to do is to forgive someone who has hurt you or who has done you wrong. I get it. However, this is the reason why the Apostle Paul wrote to the church, is to remind them as to why they must forgive. And why is that? Because God also forgave them. Look, if you and I desire to have a true, genuine communion with the Lord, then we must also learn what it means to have genuine, true communion with each other. And that might also include the one who has wronged you or has hurt you. Look, Jesus himself gave us the two greatest commandments of all time. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and then to love your neighbor as you love yourself. So today, let this be our challenge. Today, can we say to the Lord, God, help me to forgive the one who hurt me. Help me to forgive the one who did me wrong. The way you forgave me, help me to forgive them. Look, you might feel like you have the right to remain angry, but don't let that feeling step in the way of God setting you free today from unforgiveness. Don't let unforgiveness gnaw at you. Learn to forgive the same way that God has forgiven you. God bless you.